Jack. Today, we bring you the story of an enormous freaking dog with a shield for a face. As you can tell, my construction is a little less than ideal, but there, how about that? Yeah, as you can see in my reflection here, I have the camera perched on top. Spoiler alert, there's Pokemon in it. Okay, Netbug, what did I just say? English, hmm. Ah, oh, this one. Over here in the corner. I think she looks nice. Hmm. I hope there's enough letters. You know what? Let's go with her. Blonde and green eyed. And if you're wondering why I'm naming her Veronica, go read my story Obsession. Interesting new language down on the bottom. I wasn't prepared for that. Yeah. Yay. No. Headbang and beat here. You're not the professor. Dude, invest in a hair clip. Our society is able to thrive. Whoa! That's a new one! <laughs> Thanks to help from these mysterious creatures that we call Pokemon. Pokemon are all around us, in the sea, the sky, and even with us in our towns. That thing's just standing there staring straight ahead. Everyone in this audience is under the age of 13. Undefeated champion. It's time for Champion Leon's exhibition match. <laughs> is that like this? Vision and Ultly on the pristine wreck is about to end when I'll be true today. You know I don't lose battles, Rayhan. Rayhan? Okay. Whoa! This technology that we would definitely haven't seen a million times before. Giratina is pissed. <laughs> bounce, 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 bounce. Hey, look at that design. How could anyone think this game looks bad? Hi, Munchlax. Wait, now she has white hair. Gray. She had blonde hair before. <laughs> Lee. <laughs> Oh, that's what it is. 
Mum. <laughs> yes, yeah, exactly why I came here and now you get Veronica. Never mind watching the match now. Nah, got recording time anyway. Record all my brother's matches. Yeah, okay. So pick up the bag and never take it off, huh? Gotta have a cuppa. The fireplace that's built into the house. It keeps things warm in the harshest winter. Yeah, yep. The television that Mum uses to watch her comedy dramas. Days she's fast. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> it's always about Pokemon. It's never, you know, the great novels of the world. Oh, that is not going to entertain Munchlack. Much like we've loved rivers around its bed from time to time. It must sleep standing up, just like it's doing over here. Ah, still haven't mastered appearing in the mirror, huh? Okay, I have done the tests that need to be done. There is nothing in the garbage. Filled with food your family likes. We are not going to be any more specific than that. How many dishes does one family need? Munchlax will come to eat any leftover food so the sink is sparkling clean. It's covered in Munchlax saliva. <laughs> it's a state-of-the-art microwave oven that Mum insisted on buying. There's my hat. You grabbed your mum's old bag. That's not a nice thing to call your mum. And it is expected to use a plate like everyone else, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's super soft on the touch. I'm doing that pigeon toed stance. A simple desk that you can keep using even when you become an adult. The latest video game console is sitting by the telly. Man, they really went and Brit picked this, didn't they? The bed you went to buy as a family. Okay, they could have phrased that a little bit better. How many dishes you need? <laughs> okay, look, come on, I'm up for a nap. That doesn't actually strike me as a simple desk, anyway. Okay, this this doesn't do anything. Oh, what? No, what? Oh, no, I didn't want to leave just yet. I thought that was going to take me upstairs. I thought the door was the... <laughs> so British, yes. <laughs> I thought this was the front door. This one. Which doesn't have a handle. I thought this was going to be like upstairs. <laughs> oh, but it looks like it could pull you over. <laughs> pip pip cheerio, what what. <laughs> <laughs> Bounce. There's one right behind you. That one's been sitting there. <laughs> Good tackle. It's like roll out. The slumbering willed. Nah. Okay, hey, dude, it's a dumb sheep. It's literally a sheeple. Yeah, okay, if you can outrun me, that's going to be something. I'm assuming this is his house. There we go, now we're going to some autoplay. You 
had him crammed in a cupboard? No, that would be at my house. Wedgehurst. <laughs> oh, he's hopeless with directions. All right. So the cool guy has some weaknesses. Some silly weaknesses. <laughs> Ooh, a barbecue in the garden. Yes, please. A family-sized fridge. Yeah. Honestly, this whole thing is kind of making me want to get out my Sims game. It has a rawhide bone right behind it. It's got a rawhide bone. They're books about the champion. All these trophies belong to the champion. You see his photo up there. <laughs> to hop, his brother is a superhero. And who are you, old sir? Are you grandpa? You live in a town with more than 10 square meters of land? <laughs> I'm so busy to have the kind of song, but I would like it. He's really clean and tidy. Whoa. So we'll use trading machine. Pokemon probably can use it too. But it's not really a machine, it's just an angled board. Top shelves are filled with books that seem to be hard to understand. Let, let me try. Only adults read those types of books. Excuse me? Excuse me? Okay, they could have thought about how to phrase that. A collection of various caps. Do all of them look like crowns underneath the perfectly made bed? It doesn't seem to have been used for a long time, but does it smell like despair, like a certain house in Route 2? <laughs> Here we go, look at this. Uh... Exposed radiators, though. The sheets are very wrinkled. Monsters of the top three most popular Pokemon in Galar. Charizard, Machamp, and Gengar. Um, hmm. Looks like a picture of maybe Leon Younger. Knowing the Chi House, they thought about how to phrase that and chose that wording anyway. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I want thought wall art. Well, yeah, it is pretty nice. It's just more Gen 1 pandering, though. Ah, uh, yes. A well-used barbecue. The grill is perfectly seasoned. Give me, give me the meats. Give me grilled pineapples. Give me just barbecue. Give me, give me, give me, give me, come on, give, give, give. <laughs> Are there any magic carps? Come on, there's got to be some decorative carp. Pop's house, yeah, because that's who gets all the mail, right? Hey, bucko. Gonna move on! Remember, Rucka? Wild Pokemon could come out of nowhere if you want some patches. I'm doing Australian, aren't I? Okay, fine. D there's, like, no tall grass. It's a straight path. Oh, but look at that. We're at one. Oh yeah, I see a bunch of people. I don't know why my accent was turning Australian there. Uh, actually, it just to be a dick. Let's see what happens. Yeah, mate. Maybe he should be Australian. Wedgehurst. You really dress like that all the time, huh? <laughs> Live in a town with more than five people in it, too. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Dude, you're standing behind three big people. Leon cannot see you back there. Yeah, see, look, there's half. <laughs> Everyone get hyped for champion, yep. If you could get away with dressing like that all the time, tell me you wouldn't at least consider... Well, yeah. Uh. Aww. Number one fan in all the world has come out of his way to pick me up. Out of his way, you live like a block away from the train station. <laughs> An inch and a quarter. Wait, they're going with inches? Well, I guess they do kind of go back and forth in that area, don't they? <laughs> Loads about- oh, so I just recently moved in? People call me the unbeatable Leon! I guess people here just call you Lee. <laughs> You know, I, I feel like a character having a nickname that everyone calls them kind of feel, makes the world feel a little bigger, you know? Always ready to be the best, isn't he? Like no one ever was, sir. So there's like travel symbols on his back, like patches. When he does that fist thing, it um, makes a whip crack. <laughs> dash, 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 dash. I'm still looking at him with suspicion, but... Oh, goodness. We get... <laughs> we get from him, not from Magnolia? <laughs> okay. Yay! To quote the Spider-Verse, where is that wind coming from? <laughs> yeah, I guess she has blue eyes or gray or something. I want to barbecue that and it does not make that noise. That's a pear. It's not going to make a tap-tap noise when it's hit. Wuss! <laughs> okay, now. I made this decision in advance. Baby, Netbug says. Baby boy! Monkey baby boy! Now, because, Netbug, you already have monkey baby. And we know someone who has bunny baby, so I'm going salamander baby. Adapts to anything as surely as water flows. Reconsider your choice. No, I'm gonna be trading with you guys! Yes, I would. Typhoon has been added to your party. Typhoon is my party. <laughs> oh, I did not have the game yet. Then what are you doing watching? <laughs> Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Meh. <laughs> All looking around like, huh? huh? And you'll come with me! Oh. Yeah, but then you said you were going to backseat game. Yes, I asked you to come, but you said you were going to backseat game. 
Charizard will show you the ropes. He's strict, but real strong and real kind, too. Okay, yes, barbecue. 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 Yes. Now, oh, Raika, get get over there. Get over there. Those are, those are, those are grilled meats. Grilled veggies. Grilled, grilled everything. Oh my god, are those whole sausages? Like a whole sausage and multiple ears of corn on one skewer? I didn't even get to eat anything. I'm gonna go stick my face over that grill and inhale deeply. Trust in one another and carry on battling side by side long enough, then someday you're gonna become worthy rivals for me, the unbeatable champion. <laughs> Okay, yeah. Just having a Pokemon with you doesn't make you a real trainer, you know. Proper trainers raise their Pokemon up to be first rate in battle, too. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Someday, aka, in about 20 hours. Yes. To have a champion time battling with them. Kind of a British way of putting it. And that's all fun. I do not remember those smudges on there being there before. How long has he been gone? Ha! I got two partners with me. Uh huh. Not very exciting at this level of battle. Oh, okay. Bye bye, Wulu. Whoa, up a level. I've had another trusty ally on my team. Yes, I know. I am aware. You just told me. Let's see if I can do this just with pound and growl, though. <laughs> And I'll see this. I figured I'd help you set up and check out the first hour or so of the game. Yeah. Now you're faster than me. When you talk about Wooloo is very exciting. Wooloo, no! Yeah, these come up kind of with a delay. You monster! Hey, that Wooloo knew what it was getting into. It understood the risks. Uh, okay, you're basically forcing me to use a special attack. Are you guys sure you can hear me okay? Because I have the game up real loud. I'm going to turn it down just a little. You already know about type advantages? You know, I have a feeling we just learn those as part of our society. It's not going to be anything we have to, you know, specially remember. You and that Savel are too much. You know, if you would send out Score Buddy first. 
The sound keeps cutting in and out randomly. Oh dear. I don't know what to do. Uh, that was a shock. I know now why Lee thought he should give you a Pokemon too. Yeah, is it being a bit choppy? Is that from? Can you hear me over this? Or uh, I don't know. Here, Pokemon all fought hard. Maybe I'm going to let Charizard out and let him have some fun. <laughs> uh, my favorite to ask you? Be a real rival to hop, would you? I mean, yeah. We run into that bead guy, who I'm positive is going to be an even bigger rival. Okay, so, Leon, did you just, like, grab a rug from somewhere? And just decide to use it as a cape. Uh, both you and the game sound fine, but sometimes sound completely gone. It's not the greatest quality, but he can hear you. It's like just hanging out, you know? Yeah, I guess. Not putting the cart before the Rapidash there, little brother. Rapidash seems like it would be too fast to have a cart. When you think about getting gym badges, best to think about getting a Pokedex, yeah? I am so confused about Cape. Yeah, I know. It's like he just grabbed a, um, what do you call the little uh, blanket you put over the end of the bed? <laughs> More than just a collection of data, you know? It's a record of a trainer's love and passion for Pokemon training. Um... Pop, you look like you need to learn some air guitar. Completing a simple Pokedex will be nothing. Just another page in the tale of my legend. <sighs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> it got through the fence. Professor's granddaughter went in once and she came back in a real state. There's nothing compared to the earful she got from the professor afterward. Veronica, what do you say? Yeah. The kind of scene where you simply have to do what's needed. So why are you standing there? Ooh. Slumbering wield. Is this the forest from the live stream? No, that was like gl glimmer something. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh! Wove it. Um. I. I have nothing, so... Move it! That's so cute! Wait, why do you keep... I got past that really fast. This is just scripted, isn't it? Oh! Oh, what? Rickety! Oh my god, it's so cute! That's so cute, I want five! But I don't have any right now. I don't have any balls right now, so I gotta run. Is that a Pokemon crying out, you think? Am I gonna see the legendary? Yeah, these all seem really scripted. <laughs> Squovet. Cute burbs. Cute burbs are basically... Oh. That Wooloo might be in real trouble. How do you know the Wooloo's back here? Cute burbs are the best things in life. 
what I was going to say. I can't even see my own hand in front of my face. Okay, then you won't see my hand coming at you to shake you. Oh. So it's like a a child form of the box legendary? You can't run away for some reason. Well, there's no effect. Yeah. Okay. Huh. Yes, we established that. Okay. I can't see anything. You okay? I'm proceeding to stand in exactly the same spot I had been. Okay, see, this kind of shows the need for Sinnoh remakes, because this is like the one situation where defog would be useful. Ooh, ah! Is Sonya gonna show up and kick our asses or something? Okay, well what happened? Did it run into us like bowling balls? Your pants with directions, you always get lost. It didn't go into the woods, you dipshit! <laughs> nah. Maybe coordinate off is something more than just a tiny little fence, right? Heck, there's some mad Pokemon. What are you talking about, Hop? It just had this sort of presence. Their moves didn't even touch it. I mean, really, they seem to pass right through it. Moves pass right through it. Pokemon Shield review, yes. First thing you have to do is harm a Wooloo. <laughs> no, first thing you have to do is... Uh, yeah, 0 out of 10 works <laughs> First thing you have to do is grab a bag. No, get up off a couch. The first thing you do is you get up off a couch. Worst game ever. <laughs> Illusions. Strong enough in Movie the Tube, you could be the ones to reveal the truth someday. So by your logic, you can reveal the truth right now? If you do get earful from Lee, you wouldn't experience it. make a pretty fine first page in the tale of my legend. Off to what? Don't we live in Wedgehurst? Postwick. Okay, yes. But Wedgehurst is like right there. Just stand in there, huh, Ma? Huh? Pocket money, yes, please. What? What? I, I'll, I will? I'll battle to the very end? What? Mm -hmm. East or west, home is best, okay. North and south, something, something mouth? Look at that! There's not even something that says keep out! It's just a gate! Welcome to the town of Postwick, a farming town since days of old where people and their Pokemon live in close harmony. They always do. 
Numo Be Please tell me this is the technology is amazing guy. The power of science is amazing, yes! Nerds and South, you must keep out. Close enough. Bah. Okay. Yeah, you mean the one I can see from my own house? I like the Tudor style, though. Um, hi. You wouldn't want to wake up the sweet sleeping Wooloo, right? Bet it's going to take the long way around. I could fit through there. Nah, my very own Wooloo. Wow. <laughs> yes, please wake up all of them. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that, I'm level 7. And look, look at how much I'm hitting it for, how little. Oh. Oh, okay, yes, I actually do have some now, good. I was thinking, wait a minute, I didn't actually get any. <laughs> Okay, all right. What do I name it? What 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 do I name my Wooloo? What do I name my name? Are you suggesting just ba puff ball? Well, I don't know what it's going to look like later. If anyone here does know, do not tell me. Because I have three viewers. Who's the third? Ba or puff ba. Netbug, you have any suggestions? Actually, I know. Barbara. There we go. <laughs> A wild squovet. Oh, yeah, it is an Animal Crossing reference, isn't it? <laughs> I soon learned bind. Really? Oh, the tail. Hmm. Hmm. Well, the name that comes to mind is Hazel, but there's already a Pokemon character named Hazel. Uh...
Acorn. <laughs> oh, it's a little burb. It's the little burb. Name him D's nuts. I'm not gonna name anything D's nuts. Sorry, I'll stop now. You you just started. <laughs> So if this is rookity, it's got to evolve into Corvo Knight, right? Mm. I mean, I could just go Borb, because it's very much a Borb right now. But if it does evolve into Corvo Knight, like I think, then it's not going to be a Borb anymore. Well, it's got a nice song, so. Trill. <laughs> yes. Um, oh, oh, my goodness. Uh, lots of squovets. Hey, squovets. Trill is a precious borb. Yes, he is. What I'm going to do. Um, Ansel battery low, of course. Mm. Oh, lip bug. Well then, okay. My, my, my. This is the, uh, I kind of wish we had face cam here too. Yay, blip bug. It looks like it's wearing a little bow tie, so I'm imagining something sophisticated looking later on. Oh, golly. Um... Taylor, why not? Because it can pass for a regular name. Uh, 
You know, there there probably is someone out there who probably multiple people who've named their school vets uh these nuts. Like multiple, multiple, multiple people. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Wedge Hurst. The ultimate Charizard. Yeah, talk to them. D d come on, what's blocking me? What's blocking me? Welcome to the town of Retro. A quiet burrow is home to the esteemed Pokemon Research Lab. Yes, the champion's here. Remember what the sign here used to say. To the right is the Pokemon lab, on the opposite side is the station. Nah. You don't care. Oh, hey, I could go in random houses. Chitter? Okay, yes. The far end of Route 2. Got another rawhide bone over here. Hey. It wasn't hard. Yeah, I see you sneaking up on me there, Charizard. You did a far sight better than I did my first time. I'm hopeless with directions. You can see it from your house. The ultimate Charizard just spent no man's large personal space bubble. Oh, work. Okay, what's here? What's here? What kind of. Oh, Yamper! <laughs> Looking for info and another never before seen super strong Pokemon. <laughs> Outlandish request. Lady, you're a Pokemon researcher. Come on. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I could convincingly make her in The Sims with just things I have already. Yeah, for here is a real chip, but it goes to help you find your way around. You might call it a chimper. Uh, uh. One Piece Pokemon that you wear hop is Zoro. Uh, you mean where Leon is? Never no, rescued plenty of times back in the day when I got lost on the road. But yeah, that's his trainer, Sonya. What can I say about Sonya? Well, I like the way she cooks. She makes food you can gobble down in a flash. What introduction is that? Did you forget we were rivals during our dream challenge? I'm just yeah, helping out. I did too. Mm -hmm. Hi, nice to meet you. Name's Sonya. I'm a professor's assistant. Mm -hmm. The new Pokemon trainer. Set her on the right path, would you? <laughs> <laughs> this is the guy. He's always got his head in the clouds. There's no wonder he gets lost all the time. It's like you got a Rotom phone. I do. Hey there, Rotom. Oh, God. Oh, God, you followed me. I thought it was just designed like a Rotom. Okay. How much... Does Charon make in residuals for doing the initial Rotom research? 
You know a lot about Pokemon, yes. Well said, well, yeah. You can see Gazelle's use the Pokedex on your Rotom phone. Shouldn't that just come unlocked? I think this is a gift for my Gran. Did Gran know you received the Pokedex? She lives in the house down along Route 2. Yeah. Whoa ho 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 ho. Okay, so the first thing you see when you enter the lab is the kitchenette. And avoid just us and the void. Does it always do that? No, just when you say the word void. Okay. And that's something's heart. Except it's blue. A bunch of books just propped up against the oh. um clock radio. Really weird microscope. Um, randomly fluctuating nothing. Yes, we get another Rotom friend. Well, perhaps it's measuring something. The readings seem to be fluctuating. The whiteboard is positively covered in notes from top to bottom. It's got a Charizard on it. What? Come on. What is the Dynamax phenomenon? This phenomenon in which Pokemon take on gigantic forms <sighs> has only been observed in the Galar region. Moreover, it only seems to occur in specific locations and under set conditions. Yes. Is that really the only thing you have books on? On the gigantification of Pokemon. While the general principle holds that Pokemon grow stronger and larger by evolving, it's also true that simply making oneself appear larger is just another survival strategy with merit. <sighs> Come on, it looks like you're growing corn in there. Let me go in. I remember when I saw this the first time, back in the original preview, I thought this was going to be part of like the grass gym. Sorry to stop you. Yeah. I love talking to new trainers and giving them useful stuff. Okay, a potion, yeah. That is pretty useful, thank you. Oh my god. Knowledge is power! Yeah. Know what else is power? Power! Okay, look. D do you see how tiny that is? Like, there is literally nothing stopping me from going through there other than social convention. Oh, hey! Ta -da. Yeah, on the gigantification of Pokemon, yep. Come on, let me through the shrubbery. I want to go for a swim. Unless this is the, st uh, bleh. Unless this is the strand and it'll suck me down. Don't forget your trusty town map, yeah. Town here is just quiet countryside. Wait till you see a big city. It'll take your breath away. Uh -huh. I used to want to be a professional Pokemon trainer when I grew up, but I can't think about Pokemon day in and day out the way Leon does. Leon's just amazing. He's a superstar to everyone. Though I'm liking him so far, so I kind of feel like if he be, does turn out to be a villain, I'm going to be heartbroken. So Leon at the station, it's such a powerful presence, I recognized him before he even got close. He also dresses like King Dingus of Jackassville, so... My chairs are pose. Look at that. I can actually sit. You can have sits. There were only like five chairs in all of Alola you could sit on. <laughs> May I help you? Goodbye. 
what? The, did they not let me have more Pokeballs yet? Train has been delayed due to rail car inspection. Okay. Yeah. The world you see out there, whatever train, it never stops changing. Isn't it lovely? Come on, on travel pamphlets. Let me look. <laughs> After Pokedex from Sonya, it's time to meet lots of different Pokemon. I start building up a strong team. Oh, there's the Mart. King Dingus, yes. Hey, again, I can see this from looking out my window. Why do you think I've never been in one? Okay, that looks nice and cozy inside, and that there is some Pokemon here. Of course not. No, I don't think you need to tell me what you already know. Okay, you got buy some potions. Okay. What's this thing here? Oh god, it's another Rotom. It looks like Rotom combined with Bunnelby. <laughs> Rotomi. Rotom Information Terminals. Dressed up like Victorian nurses. <laughs> what purpose does those big mutton chop sleeves ever serve? I would like to purchase some Pokeballs, please. It's one table standing there. Okay, so what is that thing? Foo foo, that doesn't tell me anything. Oh, they rate a nickname for me. Um, Trill. What a fine nickname. Uh, no. Okay. Oh, nickname, remember, and forget. I, I, I want to see what that thing is next to you. It reminds me of Audino, and I don't like it. Is, this, is that a drink selection? Come on, it looks, it looks like you have a drink selection there. <sighs> this month's birthday horoscope is spot on. Can I tell you your fortune, too? Sure. Oh, not you were born. Uh, I got it. So your birthday is 613, yes. Fortune is... This stain here. Oh, this must be from my snack. The page is smudged and I can't really read it. Damn, people whose birthday are going to be super duper lucky. You might even run into a legendary Pokemon. Or maybe not. Yeah, you'd better run. There we go. <laughs> yeah, I heard you could do that. I remember um I remember in X and Y if you did the spin on skates, you'd eventually do that. <laughs> A lovely home by the lake enjoying the slow life. Hey, listen, people, I know you don't have a whole lot going on in your lives, but I don't need to be sold on the concept of Pokemon. I hear that Leon has a younger brother. I bet he's an amazing trainer, just like Leon. He's right over there. You want me to go grab him? Console battery low. Oh, yes. Yes, I would like some berries. My God, they're all 80. Holy cow, I just saw how much money I have. 31,000. Whoa.
and orange berries. Five cherry berries. And five petcha berries. Clothing boutique. Having a meal with your Pokemon makes the food taste extra good. Me he he he. Fluff fluff fluff. Oh hey yeah. Found a Poke doll. Yeah, they still look like Clefairies. Fun to do some shopping in a boutique. Even just getting a new hat can change your whole look. Yes, yes, please. A different lineup of apparel brand. I think the brands they carry here might be a little too young looking for me. It's not going to give me previews. Oh, they, they're in different, um, they're in different brands. Can I take the parka off? I don't, I don't understand. It's also not telling me what the prices are. Leave without changing. Uh, well, because I have to plug this in and I have to do dinner and everything, I'm just going to stop here. But I heard there's something I could get in Mystery Gift. Uh... Still connecting, still Connecting the da 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 Listen. Why don't we preview the game? Thanks. Can't wait to pick it up. Yeah, I know, right? You're now connected to the internet. About fine. It told me twice. Ooh, Gigantamax Meowth. Yeah, you just drop a cat in the air. Just because it'll land on its feet doesn't mean it'll. You just go around doing that. It washes its face to keep the coin on its head, regularly to keep the coin on its head spotless. It doesn't get along with Galarian Meowth. There's what? Okay, I saw a picture of what someone said was Galarian Meowth. I didn't believe them. I thought that was just like a regional cat. Oh my god. I'd describe it to you, but that would be even more spoilers, so, um, yeah, yeah, why, why is this taking so long, so long, so long, so long, uh, oh, save is up here. All right, well, I want to thank you guys for coming. And, um, uh, you let me know in the comments if you want to see more 
of this and I record some later. Um, probably won't be live like this, but um, definitely something for, you know, for the heck of it, for fun. Oh. It's the first online competition, Galar Beginnings. Uh, <laughs> nah. Oh yeah, a China encounter. Uh, yeah, whatever. Okay. Um, but yeah, um, I had fun. Let me know if you want me to continue with this weird setup. Uh, because that means, um, if I do record it like this, it means I won't be able to play it just whenever I want. But it does mean that you guys will be there with me along the way and all of that good stuff. Oh yeah, you guys haven't been able to see the hat I've been wearing the whole time, huh? <laughs> uh, yeah, see, if you guys have been with me when I was playing um, Sun and Moon, oh my god. That, that, was, um, that was a hell of a game. I cried so hard at the ending when Lily left. I was just absolutely overcome. I put my head down and I just sobbed for like five minutes straight. But um, that was also in the middle of the night. And I probably wouldn't have been playing in the middle of the night. Like, uh, if I was um, recording everything. So, I want y'all to let me know... Uh, if you want me to continue playing like this, um, or anything like that, they probably won't be live, like I said, um, but, yeah, just drop me a line. Bye. Cool big letter hat, but mine is superior. No, it is not, Netbug.